So in terms of diluting the vitalumic for the tower, so the the amount that we're using is one teaspoon for 10 liters. Okay. Now, um, I've the best way that I've been able to dilute it is in a blender. Now, if I don't have a blender, would the best way to do it would be to leave it in lukewarm water. Absolutely. Like I said, you can use you can use luke, lukewarm water and a, a bit hotter than colder. You put it in into a glass and you shake it. Like as you said, that's why I'm saying it's so small. It's not like you guys have automated systems or anything like that. So the best thing is to leave it in the glass. And just with time, it will completely dissolve itself. And then you go and give it a little stir and put it into your neutral tower system, which is a passive system, of course. And that's what makes it so beautiful and so wonderful for you, the utilizer at home that can actually and why we believe so much in being part of your guys a dream which is the neutral tower which we think everybody should have one at home of course in terms of best practice if if i put it like let's just say in a mason jar with lukewarm water because again like i've done i've done both i put it in a mason jar and shake it for about a minute and i still find that it's not all diluted should i just leave it in the water for like about an hour before or something like this yeah you can leave it usually we recommend about 10 15 minutes but that's usually that's what people do for small little parcels and stuff especially if farmers like you guys are small little time farmers so it's very important yeah of course you don't have the proper mechanism to be able to dilute it i do suggest that you give it a bit of time but at the end of the day she will do what she's supposed to do and then after that it will ferment your system 